you know, and, and people ask me all the time is like, you know, what is your leadership type? You know, how do you, how do you subscribe to, you know, doing whatever you do on a day-to-day -day basis? And, and this is something that I learned very recently, actually. Uh, it was pretty transformational for me that I wanted to, that I wanted to share with you, yeah. Ian, is, um, you know, it's called situational leadership, right? So you, a good leader, in fact, good human being, you know, responds to a situation different, every situation differently, right? So, you know, there's all these different leadership, servant leadership styles. You have all these different types of, you know, you can go research a bunch of them out there. To me, you know, I read this book, it's called Primal Leadership. I recommend it. Super, super cool leadership book. And um, it says that, you know, in every situation, you can bring a certain facet of leadership to it, right? So and they have different categories and stuff. But here's how I give you an example of how, you know, my leadership style would 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 kind of, you know, permeate through, you know, through my team or through a certain period of time. Mm -hmm. So sales is built into uh, very nice compartments, right? So you've got a fiscal year, you got a fiscal year goal. Then you have a quarterly breakdown of that. Then you have a monthly breakdown of that. And then you have a weekly breakdown of that, right? So when you're starting a fiscal year and you're getting all these goals, it's very important that you draw on, you know, a, it's called the visionary leadership style, right? So you embody that visionary style. And there's a way, you know, there's a way of doing that. But mm -hmm. you're sort of building all these goals. You're giving the highway motivation. You're, kind of, you know, rallying the troops. And you really got to start the year with that type of, uh, you know, that visage of, of, of that leadership. And then obviously believe in it, too. Um then you, you know, once that's all done and you start getting into like now, now that was the annual thing, I started getting into the quarterly stuff. You really have to move into a coaching leadership style where you're helping, mm -hmm. mentoring, getting involved with, with individuals, making sure that, you know, you're blocking and tackling organizationally and what needs to happen. You know, your managers, your directors, you're managing them, but you're also doing skip level meetings to understand how the reps are doing. That's super important. You know, don't always just do the first level. Make sure you're doing these skip meetings to, you know, otherwise you're going to be left in the dust as a leader if you're not doing that because you need to you know be have that rapport with the reps so if that all is going great you're having a good year you know sometimes you can stop there right but sometimes you don't have a good year sometimes you're in q3 and you're like wow we are not going <laughs> to hit our goal right we we are we are moving the ship is moving in the wrong direction so then you can step into something called pace setting pace setting leadership style and pace setting is where you are are setting the pace for the team, right? So if the calls ain't happening, you're on the phone picking up the calls. Okay. The discovery meetings not going, you're on the discovery meeting. If the deal is going sideways, you're saying, hey, set up the meeting with your with your contact. I'm going to step in, right? I'm going to be the one leading this 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 thing. Now, so situational, you you, you know, based on the situation, you probably leadership. However, th there's a, there's a caveat here. This becomes like a split personality, though. Like a rep is sitting there like, oh, you know, Mia starts the year with his whole visionary thing. Then he's kind of helping me, you know, or the team do this. And now he's on my deals. Like this, this is, you know, what? This this is not cool. You know, like I got this deal. So what's what, you know, so what I what I learned was um, as you move from one style to the other, it is very important that you tell the people around you, the teams around you, that this is what you're going to be doing. Mm. especially in pace setting so when you have these reps and you're saying like, get me on the call it's like it's not like you're doing anything wrong you know it's not something that you know like or you know you're trying to get into the deal and trying to like you know backseat driving and stuff like that <clears throat> it's just to help and really listen and learn and you know provide value but it's important for you to tell them so you know uh, and i've gone into this mode a couple of times where I, you know after you know the first time i did it i didn't tell anybody and they were like what <laughs> he was this way one day and now he shows up on a Monday and suddenly he's like, you know, what did we do wrong? And, and I learned very quickly and, and you know, it was like, you, know, you tell them. So I tell the team that, hey, you know, we're having a difficult quarter, you know, we, you know, I need to understand what I can do better to help you. I'm going to be moving into a pace setting motion. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to be doing it until then. And if we can get all this stuff right, then I'm going to, you know, peel back and let, you know, let you all do it. And they were it was great. They're like, they loved all the help, you know? So the first time just doing it. And then the second time, very, very different, you know, outcomes, 
Um, so to me, that also, you know, that's how you really want to help and coach individuals by the style that you approach, you know, mm. the problems with and the individuals with. Amazing, amazing.